Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're going to be looking at the decrease variable action on Power Automate Desktop. So the decrease variable action allows you to effectively reference a variable that exists and decrease it by a set amount. Now you will need a numeric variable to be able to use this action because it basically allows you to decrease by a certain value. So if you have a number, let's say five, and you use decrease variable with four, then it's going to give you a variable of one. So what does this look like then? Well, when you enter your action for the first time, you're going to get this little pop up and you will then be able to select the variable name. Now, I've added the click the X for a list and on the right hand side here, if you select that, it's going to list all of the variables that you have in your current Power Automate desktop flow. So you don't actually have to type the percent sign, the name and the percent sign each time, you can just select from a list. Now then it's very important that you obviously have a variable already there with a numeric value that you're going to reference. So let's say we've selected that, then we want to set the decrease by section. Now this sets the decrease amount. Now you can hard code this. In our example previously, we used four, so you could just enter the digit four here. However, if you have a variable that's being set by say data coming from SQL, then you could set that variable previously before we get to the decrease variable amount. So we could have a deduction variable that then would get updated by the dynamic data. And then we can pass that variable into the decrease by. And again, you can select the X on the right hand side to get a drop down and select the decrease by um, variable that you want to use. So let's take a look at this as an example on Power Automate Desktop. Okay, so we are on the Power Automate Desktop and we have an example flow open. Um, what we're gonna do on the left hand side, if you haven't ever seen this before, there's the actions listed. We're going to open the variables and firstly, we're going to set a variable. Now we're going to just change the name of this to demo. And then we're going to set it as five. Now, just above that, there's the decrease variable. Again, if you haven't done this before, you can drag and drop it or you can double click on it. So let's drag and drop just as an example. And here is where you would select your variable name. And, and previously we talked about this little X. So if we click on that, you can see that the demo variable is available and it is a numeric value, which is what we need. So let's select that. And then we want to decrease by. So let's say we want to decrease five by four. We've hard coded that and press save. So if we press run now, what should happen is the demo should get set to five. The variable should get set to five. Then we use the decrease variable to set demo decreased by four. So we should have our flow variable on the right hand side of one. So let's just hit run now. And as you can see, we now have our flow variable demo of one. It's a numeric value and it's one because five has reduced by four and left our one on the right hand side. So that's how you hard code it, but let's create another variable then here. And we'll call it reduce. And in here, we'll reduce it by three this time. So we've got two variables. We've got the demo variable is set to five and another variable called reduce being set to three, but we want to get our dem demo variable reduced by three. So we want five um, to take three from it. Now, rather than hard coding it, we can select the little X drop down. As you can see, it lists the um, variables. So what we could do is we could have demo reduced by demo and obviously we'll just get the zero then, but if we select the reduce variable here, 
we've got the first variable of demo and we're decreasing by the second variable of reduce which is currently free and if we then run that on the right hand side you could see at the beginning it stated five and then uh, reduce got set to three and then it reduced to two so now we have five minus three and we are left with two on our demo variable and that is how you use decrease a variable on power rule to make desktop thanks for watching another video by me flo joe if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the power platform